So let's uh, deal with the elephant in the room, and that's this license file real quick. I and mean, we're getting down to the wire. We have just a few folders left here, and then we're going to start building and then trying to tackle errors. But we do have this license file, and I do want to touch on this because I, I feel that it's important. Uh, notice that the license file for this folder is the GNU public license, or GPL3. Um, all the technical uh, legalese is right here. You can read through that. Pretty tough to understand, or at least for non-lawyers like me. So another easy thing you can do if you run into like license files like this, you can just uh, search it, web search it, whatever the case may be. Um, you can read to like here, we have a quick guide to the GPL version three. Um, you have the freedom to use the software for any purpose. You can freedom to change, freedom to share, uh, freedom to share and changes you make. <clears throat> um, so it does tell you some of the, the things that you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. And so whenever you borrow uh, someone's work, you want to make sure you check uh, you know, whatever licenses are on it. And here's kind of like uh, too long, don't read legal. Just has it here, a little simpler, easy to break down. You can use modified distribute, place warranty, use patent or whatever. You cannot sub-license, so you can't make it uh, something else. And you can't be held liable. Um, you must disclose the source um, and include this license. So if we're going to copy this work and modify it for our needs, we have to include the license that it went with. And we have to disclose our source. And that's really important. Um, you'll see on FDA a lot, guys would be like, oh, well, I did this and nobody can borrow anything from this ROM that I made or whatever. And, you know, um, they may actually not have legal ground to stand on, depending what it is that they did. Um, I'm pretty big into sharing, obviously, making this video series here. Uh, so, um, you know, I do want to make sure that we're playing by the legal rules here. Um, and, uh, and I think that it would be good to... Uh, to continue to share this work here. So uh, we do have permission to edit these files and we do have permission to modify them. Um, and we, you know, like I can put, you know, edited by Alaska Linux user um, so that somebody knows, hey, who edited this file? Well, I did, you know. Um, and then what we're supposed to do is supposed to include a copy of the license and we're supposed to show our changes that we made. Um, and that's really important so that way they know uh, what was originally done and what did you change. And we can look at our GitLab and we see all the changes that we've made. So we are publicly making available a way for them to see every change that we've done. And so I feel that this meets the, the criteria they can just go through and see, hey, what did we change for the audio? We added this to that or, you know, whatnot. Um, you know, a lot of it we just copied straight over. But just saying that we're making it available so that they can see it. And we're, just, we're disclosing the source by putting it on GitLab in a public setting so people can use it. And so now we just need to make sure we copy our license file over. And uh, we'll put this uh, here.